So if you don't have any type of hemostatic agent, that's fine. You can use regular gauze to pack a wound. Uh, in this case, I'm just using some compressed gauze. But same principle applies. It just doesn't have that clotting agent that makes it clot faster. But you still want to pack that wound cavity as tightly as possible and get that gauze material down against the ruptured vessel. And then whatever leftover material you have, you want to just place that right on top and that'll give some additional pressure when you put the pressure dressing on top of it. So that is your wad of material up on top. And you're going to maintain pressure here. And I don't have an Israeli to use on this one, so I'm going to use an emergency trauma dressing, which is essentially a Israeli dressing that has been simplified. All right, it's still very similar, but it doesn't have the pressure bar in place. So, very similar look when you pull it out. You've still got your dressing. That dressing goes directly over. Pull this under. And then replacing pressure that you had on with your thumb with pressure on the dressing. Get that to capture. It's got some Velcro underneath here. Then as I come over, what you'll do with this one, because you don't have that pressure bar, is come directly over top of the wound, and you're going to twist the dressing to kind of create that hourglass shape, and that fold goes directly over the wound. And pull tight. Cover up your edges just like you did before. So I'll typically go over both edges after I do the hourglass over the top, and then when I come back over the top again, I'll go ahead and place another fold in there directly on top of the wound and continue out. Once I get to the end, instead of a clip on this particular one, I've got some Velcro. There are some that do have a clip on the end that you clip in just like we did the Israeli. But again, check to make sure you still have a pulse or check that capillary refill. So much the same, it's just a different way of doing the exact same thing. The same principles apply. If you don't have an Israeli dressing and you don't have an emergency trauma dressing, you can improvise using just a simple elastic bandage or an ace wrap. Still maintaining that pressure and you're trading out pressure from this bandage with the pressure you placed on manually with your hand. You'll bring that around at least one full time. As you come up over the dressing, twist it just like we did before. And you want that to cross directly over top of the wound. Pull tight. I'll wrap this around both sides. And then I'll come back over the center. Every time I come over the center, I'm placing another hourglass shape twist in there. And I'll continue around till I get to the end of my dressing. Over one side, over the other. Coming up over the center, place a twist in directly over the top of the wound. And this one is handy because it has Velcro. Let's secure that in place. Check that radial pulse. Check the capillary refill to make sure you haven't created any sort of tourniquet effect. So that's another way that you can do this if you don't have an Israeli or an emergency trauma dressing. <laughs>